this. What's up guys, welcome to another flight video. We are at the Bowie Beer Company here in where day? Astoria, Oregon. Oh, we're finally here. We're finally here. The most wonderful town in Oregon. So we plan on filming a bunch of flight videos and this is the first stop of the evening. Yeah. We've got to hurry up because there's a lot of breweries and we don't have and a lot of time. we're running out of time. <laughs> so this is- It's been is, a busy day, man. It's, it's been, been a busy, busy day. day. A lot of great content. Yes. I'm excited. A lot of great people, a lot of great breweries. Here is what you get here at Bowie for a flight. Uh, the numbers are along the bottom here, and then the beers sit on top. It's super cool. It looks like a little it is, a buoy. It's real, yeah, it does. It's it a looks buoy. like a buoy. It's, it does. It's very cool. All right, so here's what we get for beer for today. Focus. Focus. No, no, just stop. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Number one is the cold. The cold. Remember, guys, we rate the whole flight as a whole at the end. Mm -hmm. We give it a good rating, and then we're going to talk about each beer as we go. So please like, subscribe, let us know what brewery we should go to next to do a flight video. All right, Dave, where's number one at? Looks like it's right there. Right there's there. The Would you do the honors? Sure, sir? I'll do the honors. This is the Kolsch. I'm not a huge Kolsch fan, but you know, I like all beer. Okay. It's a good standard Kolsch. A good Nothing to complain about. Right mill Colts. Here's what you got for color. Your color looks perfect. Very clean. <clears throat> yep, smells typical Colts. Yeah. Creamy. A little bit, yeah. Very creamy for a Colts, actually. Still, got, it's got a little bit of that you know, kick to it for a Colts. Yeah, just a little bit. But it goes down smooth. It's a good, solid. Kolsch. Malty, Kolschy, yeah. Germany. Germany. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, uh, number two, Dave, the Pacific Pale. <coughs> Pacific Pale. Here it is. It looks very similar to the last one. There we go. Pacific Pale. Apologize for all the loud noise. I think you guys can hear us just fine. Anyways, yeah. here it is, the Pacific Pale. We don't have any stats on these beers. Oh, wow. Good pale? Oh, wow. It smells like a good hoppy, almost a lot of dankness oh, to it. wow. That's a good it pale. It smells like a pale that wants to be an IPA. It doesn't taste like that. Okay. Taste it. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. Yes, it's just a pale ale. It tastes like a hazy. Yeah, if you close your eyes and drink it. It's very juicy. I see what you're saying. Sweet. Yeah citrusy but like that dull citrusy kind of a flavor mm -hmm. but it still is bright like it's a weird mixture it's very bright but it's yeah. very juicy subtle easy drink yeah it is it is really nice i'm like that a lot <coughs> solid pacific pale big win definitely try this one all right number three dave here it is the ipa a oh. bit darker <coughs> on the color it's got beautiful it's color. The, it just says IPA. Yeah, so, it, I mean, um, by it's probably the Bowie IPA, I imagine. Yes. I believe this is in the seven percent. Really? I think wow. Because so. for an IPA, I think this is the one I had. I'm not. I'm sure that's what it is. It's just yeah, a Bowie I think IPA. that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. It's got some good. Yeah. It's got this the maltiness to it. But it's, it's kind of light right off front, right off the bat. Yeah, it's light up front. Yeah. Uh, it does bite you in the middle mm -hmm. <clears throat> with some hop, <laughs> with some hops. Yeah. Um, it kind of dries up a tick at the end. Yes. But it cleans up nice. It does clean up nice. I, I wouldn't think the IBUs are very high on this. No, they don't. It doesn't taste like the IBUs are going to be very high at all. No, all right. Uh, battery's going low here. We got Northwest Red. Here it is. The red. Dark. Make sure that's number four. Yep. Yep, number four. Nice dark brown, almost red. <laughs> it's a red. 
Ah, uh, it doesn't taste like a red. It's a bold one. Yeah. That tastes like that. That is not the red, that's the barley wine. That must be the red. Yeah. That's the barley wine. That's the wine. barley wine. Yeah, I think. Okay. That's number four. All right, she must have. Must have mixed those two up. Okay, that's the red. This okay, is the red. anyways, the barley wine. Let's talk about the barley wine. We just drank that one. We'll cover that in a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, the barley wine. Strong. You want to double check and make sure? Oh, it is. Okay. Because that's what I'm That's drinking. what I thought. It's very sweet. It's uh -huh. got that. Um, the barley wine flavoring. If you're a barley wine fan. You talk about it. because If you you're know. a barley wine fan like I am, you're going to love it. Okay. It's such a good, sweet, smooth, but bold barley wine. What are the flavors you're pulling out of this? I'm getting like sweet honey. Almost. Yes, you do get the honey the and the wheat. barley. The, yeah, the barley, barley is, yeah. that's the number one thing that really pops up. But it's got that smooth sweetness to it. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's one of the, it's a great barley wine. It's one of my favorites. Oh. And I've had, you know, in the past, I've had Bowie's barley wine and it's been really good. All I right. I can't complain about it. All right, moving on. Great barley wine. Try that one for yes. sure. This flight actually is almost perfect. Yeah, I can't say anything. Okay, about this is the red. Okay, this is the Northwest Red. Mm -hmm. There's the red. Okay. It's got a little more of a, a kick at the end. Like yeah. that hop, almost a hop kick. Yes. Like just enough. It's a bold red. Bold red. It's not a weak red, it's a bold Very red. Very bold, it bites you. Which, it, is, which is what the reds that I like. Yeah. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the fire line near a North Florida and back, back in our hometown. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can Real see that. that. Yeah, it's a very or bold. Or even like the Axeman. Backsides. Yeah, all right. Best good, good red. It's a good Excellent. one for that. All right, Dave, do the honors. Here it is. Which is this one, the porter? The porter. The porter. Gotta love a good porter. Nice. Smokiness to it. Ooh. Maybe with a, a hint oh. of like a hint of like some dark chocolate almost notes in there. That back in. Definitely smoky. On the exhale, smoky. Yeah. I can get that. It's very drinkable. Yeah. It's very likable beer. It's this very is, this is a campfire beer. Yeah, smooth. <laughs> you could pound this, crushable. Yeah. For a porter, I mean, it's real, ooh, at the back end now, after mm -hmm. sitting for a minute, gritty, almost like that gritty coffee yeah. kind of a thing going on, but it's got that smoky porter, delicious flavor, it's a, just yeah, it's a lingering. very good smoky porter. So you gotta sit on that first drink. Mm -hmm. Sit on it for a second. Let it, let it go through its cycle. You're gonna get the smokiness, and then it kind of cleans up to this Almost coffee grounds. Yeah, grit. real gritty there. In the yeah, end. gritty, and I like that. I yeah. love that kind of flavor. And this is like you said, campfire. Yeah, I can, I can literally, I can see it myself with a pint of this sitting by the campfire. Yeah, drinking this. Waves, sun setting, uh -huh. right by the ocean. This one is that yeah, beer. A nice warm. This is that again. beer. Yeah, perfect, excellent beer. The whole flight. Wow. Solid. So this is a like solid flight. You get a. A nice variety from super easy drinking all the way uh -huh. down to, uh, all, they're all easy drinking. And this is coming from a brewery that does a lot of canning, mass distribution. Yes. I mean, them and Fort George are the two biggest probably on the Northwest or Oregon coast when it comes to distribution. And this is impressive. Yep. This is, you know, a small, this tastes to me like a small batch brewery. It does. At the same time, though, you can tell that, that they put a lot of work into these beers. Exactly. And these taste A lot of love and a lot of really pride good. into this. But like I said, coming from a bigger brewery, this is impressive. That is. Uh, ratings on this flight, Dave. What um, do we got? I'm a solid nine. Nine, okay. All the way around. Every style of beer, everyone was solid. I couldn't find any flaws, really. I'm going to go uh, 8.6. Pretty good too. Solid one. Nothing really stood out to me except for the pale. The American pale is 
Yeah. Really something you want to try. Yeah, and I was this looking a, for I was looking for weaknesses. I was looking for anything yes. that tasted watered down, but every beer for this style solid money. Nailed it. The only thing that was watery in my opinion was the porter. Right porter. up front, it's very you're like this isn't well, a porter, a, and then it kicks in at the end. It's porter, like, oh, okay, a porter's okay, not yeah. a stout. You got to remember that it's not going to be yeah, as yeah. big and. But I've bold. had most porters are really some, bold, bold. Yeah, some of them are a little bit bolder, a little bit more body. This to one's them. the least bold. Yeah, and, but it's still. But I like the back end. Like I said, it's I've had some against porters me. today that weren't as good as this. Today. 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 I don't recall him drinking a porter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out later in the show. Okay, guys, there is the uh, there is the beautiful rack of beers here at Bowie Brewing. Uh, there's our thoughts on each one. Dave, your favorite one out of the oh the barley uh, wine, wine. <laughs> barley wine. My favorite is the American Pale, or I'm sorry, Pacific Pale. My bad. The Pacific, Pacific Pale. Pale. This. It's fantastic. Yeah, for you a pale ale, it is fantastic. All right, Dave, there's our thoughts. You guys come out and get a flight for yourself. Come Let down us know. when you're in Astoria, make sure you come to Bowie and tell you, hey, Beverage Hunter said, hey, they love your beer. Maybe we'll see what happens here. All right, thank you guys so much. Please like, it helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel, it takes a few seconds. Help push this channel forward. And uh, we will keep on pushing forward and we're going to go to the next brewery. We'll see you guys next time. Till next time. Bye. Good job, Dave. Cheers. Cheers. Ah.